my eyes aren't shadowed, unlike, you know, another palette I know. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, my Slay Glam Beauty Box for Jan- no, February. No, January, I ordered this in January. My Slay Glam Box, I I'm sorry, I got confused because it was just super late. My Slay Glam Beauty Box for January finally came in the mail and I'm super excited to get into it. The only reason I ordered this was because Subscription Sisters, her palette was going to be in there and I thought, you know, I want to support her because I really like her channel. It took forever for this to get to me. Like I had to message the Instagram page for Slay Glam Beauty. I messaged them like three times before my stuff got shipped. So that's a little bit disappointing. I know this is an indie brand, but my expectations are a bit high because I hadn't gotten my January shipment. I did not ask for my February shipment. I opted to skip it because I was like, if they haven't sent my January, I don't want to get like three boxes in and have no boxes to actually show for in physical life, you know, tangible boxes, just, you know, theoretical ones on my account that I paid for. Since I have gotten my package, depending on how I like this one, I will go ahead and get the March box. Hopefully these shipment problems aren't continuing to happen. I know some people are getting their boxes with their February order, which is kind of, you know, not ideal. You know what I mean? Like when you order something you want to come in that month, the only one that I kind of give grace to is P. Louise because it's coming from the UK and I'm waiting for that one as well. I'm super excited. That'll be my first P. Louise box. Everything was nice and bubble wrapped, which I love, you know, nice, safe and secure. Let's go ahead and get into these products. We are going to do a full face of makeup using the things that we have in here, along with probably some other things that I've gotten from other subscription boxes that I've yet to try. Let's go ahead and get into it. Make it more wrap. The first thing that I'm pulling out of here, ooh, it looks very, very cute. And this is by Beauty Creations and it is barely blushing. Oh, sweet cheeks, passion pink and coral flush. Those look beautiful. And these are liquid blushes. I don't think I own any liquid blush. So I'm very excited to try these out. Now they look very similar, but they're slightly different. Let's see, got a little separation going on. Cute little, cute little applicator. And this one is Coral Flush. Very, very slight. Didn't it say uh, barely blushing. I should have expected it. This next one is Passion Pink. Yeah, they look very, very similar. Like I can barely tell the difference. We'll give one of these a try today. Maybe I'll do one cheek with one and then the other cheek with the other. Who knows? I'm not going anywhere today, so I can be adventurous. The next thing is by Amorous. Amorous, and it is a lipstick, and it is matte in the color Always New. And that's what that looks like. Nice and safety sealed. You know, I like a good safety seal. That way I know no fangers done been in my stuff. I don't want people nasty, nasty fangers in my lip products, my face products, any of my products, actually. So it's a little messed up, but that was my own fault. This is really pretty. Definitely gonna have to use a brown lip liner with this. Cause you know, I'm black girl. This will flush me all the way out. Only thing is, it's probably gonna accentuate my crusty dusties. And I wish that the lipstick part sunk more into the tube. That way you're less likely to like mash it up with the cap putting it on. This is what the color looks like. I don't know who's nude that is. <laughs> it's just a nice little pink, but I mean, color theory, it's gonna look different on different skin tones. The next thing in here is by Vivid, is it Amuse? Okay, it's by Amuse and it's a Vivid Lips lip liner in the color Ginger. I'm gonna use my Yara G technique and it works. It works. No more struggle bust for me. This is what it looks like, just a little pencil. Ooh, okay. It is nice and creamy, which I like. And I will definitely give this a shot today. Hopefully it looks really good with this pinky nude lip. And the next thing is an eyeshadow primer by Clear and Clear. And oh no, by Amorous. It's an Amorous eyeshadow primer. It's an Amorous eyeshadow primer, matte finish. And I guess the type is Clear and Clear and it says 24 hour wear. So you have two different sides here and they look about the same. I can't tell which is which. Like, well, it says on the back. 
like which is which. So this side right here is clear and this one is, I guess, concealer. I guess I will try this. I usually don't put any kind of concealer on my eyes. Well, these days I used to. Maybe I'll go back to it. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just use this. I, I, I don't know. I'll see. Not sure how much use I will get out of it, but... I will definitely try it out. And finally, the star of the show, the Four Seasons Pressed Pigment Palette by Rasha B Cosmetics. And it is in collaboration with the Subscription Sisters. These Subscription Sisters, this is one lady on the channel. Subscription Sisters, I mean, I, mean, I guess the sisters are all of us. This is really cute. The outside packaging is adorable. I'm very excited to get into this. I like that the sleeves and the palette match, you know, color pop really did dirty when it had very beautiful packaging and basic as hell palette on the inside. But yeah, ooh, it looks even prettier in the light. Bruh, that iridescence in the light looks so pretty. You guys, can you see that? <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, it's so tiny. Eyeshadow palette looks really pretty, very interesting. I am looking forward to getting into these colors and seeing how they perform on my skin tone. It comes with a mirror so you can see yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all for you and then I'll be right back. All right, let me bring you in so you guys can see. All right, there she is. So that is the palette on my arm. Very beautiful. Those freaking shimmers, bruh. Look at that gold one. That one showed up so beautifully. And so does this like unicorn pink color. I really like those. The mattes are, are pretty good. Some of them are a little bit patchy. That light green matte one really doesn't show up on my skin too well. But everything else looks amazing. This is what it looks like on my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and get into my full face. We're gonna try this Estee Lauder Futuristic Peptide Powder Serum Primer. We got this from our Macy's Beauty Box for February. It looks like very pearly. It looks very pearlescent, if that's a word, which I don't know if it is. A little goes a long way with this. I only put that little bit on and my whole face is covered up. So we're prepped and primed, okay, with Futuristic Primer. Don't know why it's futuristic, but they come up with names for everything, like just weird names. Tried and true, my fancy. And if you guys were wondering, my color is 295. I only do two pumps. I don't know why I see on like TikTok. Well, I see on YouTube, but people post their TikTok onto YouTube. I don't know why I see people putting like 10 pumps of foundation on their skin. Like nobody needs that much. Like even if you have terrible skin, like the worst, like hyperpigmentation, the worst texture. Nobody needs 10 pumps of foundation. That is just ludicrous. Honestly, I think that it's really gimmicky and I don't honestly believe that they're using that much foundation. I think that they are kind of trying to set a trend for businesses, like these foundation companies, if we can get folks to just waste, just waste their foundation, then they'll have to buy it more often. I think it's absolutely wasteful. Will I do it for like a video? Probably, but just one. Next, I'm gonna go in with my tried and true Pro Concealer by, who is this by? LA Girl. And then I'm gonna go back in with my pink lips. Y'all, I love this stuff. And what's even cooler is that it's black Oh, If it wasn't good, I wouldn't use it. I honestly would not use it if it wasn't good. Just cause something is black owned doesn't mean I'm gonna support it. It has to have a really good product. I'm not just gonna willy nilly support and your product's trash. <laughs> this pink lips is absolutely lovely. And it is in the color cappuccino. I'm trying so hard not to do the face thing where you go. I literally have to focus so that I don't do that. We're nice and concealed and uh, contoured. That's what that's called. I don't know which one. I will do one on each cheek, okay? One on each cheek. The first one is Coral Flush. I'm gonna go ahead and put Coral Flush on this side. This is really light, so I'm gonna actually put a lot because I like to blush, okay? Y'all already know your girl likes to blush. And the next one is Pink, no, Passion Pink. Put this on this side. It looks so neon. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger. Maybe it's not as sheer as I thought it was. Okay, I gotta use my sponge. It's a cute little little flush of pink. It looks very natural. I kind of wish that the colors were a little bit more distinct. That's my first little critique, you know? I wish that the colors were a little bit more distinct. That way you got like variation, you know what I mean? Like it's not gonna give the same thing. Maybe they could have gave like 
you know, one of these pinky peachy type ones and then maybe like a deeper color for like deeper skin tones. That way you get everybody. You know what I'm saying? We're uh, blushed up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my powder in the Spite Lunar Beauty. I actually been really liking this powder. I haven't even touched my Laura Mercier. You just gotta be very careful because she's powdery, okay? Moving on, I am going to bronze. I'm gonna use my bronzer by State and it is in the color Coco. Got this from Mystery Ipsy. I've been really loving it. Y'all, I went to the gym again. I don't know why that's such an update, but yeah, I went to the gym again. I feel very sore, but I've been loving going back to the gym. It's exciting to, you know, be back in the swing of things because I used to be a gym rat. I just kind of fell off and life happens, I guess. Next, I'm gonna go into this ZC and the British Museum highlighter that I got from my first ice cream beauty box. I figured that this would look really good with this eyeshadow look that I'm about to do. So I'm going a little overboard with the highlighter because we're, we're going for unicorn today. Next, the eyebrows. Okay, I'm going to do the eyebrows. They don't need to be twins, they just need to be uh, sisters. Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and try this eyeshadow primer by Amora Us. I'm gonna use the conceal side because maybe it'll make the shadow show up a little bit better. Let me bring y'all in a little bit closer. Come here, like that one guy. <laughs> I don't really see a difference like at all. I'm getting a decent amount of products, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it just makes it tacky and not actually like change the color so that the colors stick a little better. Usually if I'm gonna conceal my eyelids, I just use my LA girl. So, I mean, I guess we're concealed. Doesn't really look concealing to me, but we are definitely going for unicorn. That is our goal for today, is to look like a beautiful widow unicorn. I'm gonna use this orchid as my transition. Ooh, it picks up products very easily. Ooh, that has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. Yeah, it's not as matte as I thought it was. It's, it's got a it's got a little bit of shimmers in it as well. So I want to deepen it up with this blue or with that that pink. You know what? The blue might be a little bit dark, so I'm gonna deepen it up with spring. Tap 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 tap. I'm actually gonna switch brushes to a smaller smaller brush to blend this one out so that this doesn't go everywhere. I'm actually finding that this primer is making my brush stick to my eyelid, making it even more difficult to blend. Unfortunately, that's probably gonna be a no for me, dog. Next, I'm gonna go back in with my little fluffy brush after I clean her off and go back into my transition shade to kind of buff this out a little bit more. See where I did not put that concealer stuff? It is moving beautifully around, but where I did put the concealer is just like grabbing onto the brush. I don't particularly like that. So far, these colors are looking really good. Like even though the concealer is kind of jacking it up a little bit, it's not so bad to the point where the shadows aren't working. The shadows are definitely shadowing, okay? My eyes are shadowed, unlike, you know, another palette I know. I'm thinking I'm gonna start off with the bluish one on the inside and then transition it into the pink one on the outside. I think that is gonna look, wait, no, I'm gonna do the opposite. Before I do that, I am going to put a little bit of this pink underneath my eye and then I'm gonna deepen that up with cocoa. Now, usually I go in with my finger, but because I'm trying to like do like a little gradient, I'm gonna use this brush. Hopefully it shows up as nicely with the brush as it would with my finger. It picked up really nicely. Wow. And that's using a brush. So you can only imagine what that would look like if I picked it up with my finger. Definitely worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely worth the wait, okay? That is so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with Icicle because that is just, that shift to like purple is stunning. This alone is just beautiful. I look like a freaking unicorn. I am into it. 
I'm just gonna try to blend these together a little bit. Bruh, look at that. I look like a whole unicorn. I am in love with this eyeshadow. Y'all see that shift? That shift is beautiful. Y'all, she did her thing with this palette. This palette is nice. I do wanna put like an inner corner. I'm not gonna use this palette for the inner corner. I'm actually gonna use the highlighter that I used on my cheeks. I'm gonna use that on my inner corner highlights. Now we're gonna try our best not to ruin her with eyeliner. Our eyes are in line. I can't, I can't stress enough. Oh, geez, enough. What is enough? I can't stress enough how freaking beautiful these eyeshadows are. Now I'm gonna try something else new. And I got this in my Macy's Beauty Box and it is the MAC Magic Extension. It's this little mascara. Mm hmm, okay, we're mascara. Oh, I completely spaced. I did not use setting spray, bruh. I'm gonna try my best not to blink because if you use setting spray after mascara, usually it just, just messes everything up. So I'm gonna try my best. We're uh, fixed, fixed spray, we're fixed. Now we're going to go into the lips, okay, the crusty besties, and I'm going to try the Amuse Vivid Lips Ginger. That's actually showing up a lot better than I thought it would. And now we're gonna try this lipstick, which you gotta, like I said, be very careful taking off the lid. I usually don't like matte lipsticks these days just because my lips just, I don't know, they usually don't look good on my lips, but my lips are a little bit moisturized underneath this, so hopefully that'll help. I'm not gonna lie, the lips are not my favorite. It's really accentuating the crusty dusties and it kind of pulls up at the top. It's just, it just makes my lips, my lips look even crustier and dustier. And I don't know, I just, I don't really like this lip combo. I'm gonna wipe this off and get a different lipstick. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna just wipe this off. You can see my crusties in full effect. Not cute. I swear, I exfoliate every single night, okay? So I'm gonna instead go in with my Cobb Cosmetics and this is in the color Sweetheart. Is that doing the same thing? Maybe I need to like put a gloss over this. Maybe it's just me, okay? Maybe it's just me. I don't like this. Maybe I just need a darker lip line. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just need a darker, darker lip line. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my MAC, <laughs> my tried and true MAC. Let's go ahead and try this in cork, my MAC in cork. You can see all the little crusties and dusties. I don't like that. Maybe a lip gloss. Will lip gloss fix that or just make it even worse? I'm gonna try lip gloss and just see. I wanna make this look work because the eyes are popping. The lips don't need to be jacked up and take away from how popping the eyes are. I'm actually going to use this super gloss that I got in my ice cream beauty bag and it's by Bella Pierre. I think this gloss hid the crusties as best as it could. Yeah, this might just be a me problem, but then again, I don't really like matte lipsticks anymore. I think matte lipsticks are more of a fall winter thing. This is the final look. The eyes are where it's at. I think her name's Sydney. She did her thing on this palette. It is so nice. And Rasha B Cosmetics, that formula is formulated, <laughs> okay? It is formulated because these went on very nicely, especially those dual chromes. Let it, let it come fall time. Let it come fall time, I'm gonna be all in this Halloween, Thanksgiving, I am going to be in that palette. That is everything that I got in my Slay Glam beauty bag. I think it was worth the wait because it did actually arrive. I will see what's going on in March. I did skip for the month of February, so I will not be doing a Slay Glam beauty unboxing for their February edition. So we'll have to wait until March to see how shipping goes. If I have the same problem again, then I'll probably just cancel it because I like to get my stuff in the month that I'm expecting to get it. Overall, I mean, I think it was pretty good. These two products, I'm probably gonna declutter today. This made it very difficult to put on eyeshadow because it kept dragging the brush rather than letting it glide over nicely. This matte is just, it's not me. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. <laughs>